We have another one coming up on the 11th of November. And if you would like to serve in any teams, uh, be it the, the, the welcome team, which, which I, I look after, or, or the music team as well, um, maybe the youth team, wherever it is that the church needs help, uh, your help would be really greatly appreciated. So, um, you know, it doesn't take long at all. Just uh, put your hand up, that'll be great. I'll just give you a minute just to fill in your connection card. Thank you. chapter 17 and uh, Jesus says this suppose one of you has a servant who comes in from plowing the field or tending the sheep would you take his coat set the table and say sit down and eat wouldn't you be more likely to say prepare dinner change your clothes and wait table for me until I finish my coffee then go to the kitchen and have your supper does a servant get special thanks for doing what's expected of him? Does a servant get special thanks for doing what's expected of him? It's the same with you when you've done everything expected of you. Be matter of fact and say, the work is done, what we were told to do, we did. Or in the other verse it said, we are unworthy servants, we have simply done our duty. Jesus is there with his with some people and, and they see this little lady putting a couple of coins into the treasury. That's her gift, that's her giving. She didn't do it for an accolade. She didn't do it for the gold medal in Commonwealth Games giving. She did it simply out of the gratitude of her heart. And I think what we need to do is, is get an understanding of that. We are participants, we're, we're not in the games. We are in the greatest enterprise. We've been called to be participants in the greatest enterprise that is ever going to take place on planet Earth. That's what we're part of. And, and, and we have the privilege of, of, of expressing our gratitude in our giving through our, those things that we looked at on the board before, our online and, and the computers and, and like FPOS machines in the foyer and in the envelope that's in front of you there. And you'll have one of those there, won't you? Just near where you've got your, community, your connection card. Way back when I was a small boy, we used to sing this hymn. Used to sing it when I was growing up too. It's an old hymn. And, and the last verse of the hymn says this. Were the whole realm of nature mine, that were an offering far too small. Love so amazing, so divine, demands my soul, my life my all. And our giving is a representation of that. Let's pray as we give. Lord Jesus, we want to thank you today that you've called us to participate with you, to partnership with you in the greatest enterprise on planet Earth. Lord, we thank you that we can do that in all sorts of ways, the way that we live our lives, by the way that we serve one another, by the way that we demonstrate your love. We thank you, Lord, we can do it also right now as we give our tithes and our offerings. God, we pray that you bless these gifts now in Jesus' wonderful name. Amen. The buckets will come from that side to that side, your connection cards and your offering envelopes. 
Why don't we stand as we worship? So this morning, we are saying thank you to both of them, and so if you'd like to come forward, and uh, we want to thank you for 19 years, 19 years of serving God here. Working for that 19 years is uh, ministry at Bond University as a chaplain, and heading up the Bible school, and preaching and serving in a range of areas and also Michelle served on the worship team too. So 19 years, everyone say 19. 19. And so we're very thankful for that and uh, we've got a gift for uh, both of you today in Jesus' name. Let's pray. Would you stretch your hands out? We're going to pray. Father, I thank you for the gift of people. And I thank you, God, for your goodness and your kindness upon this couple. And I, Father, I pray that as Paul spoke to Timothy, that the gift that God has given to you, that you will not neglect it, but continue to fan it into flame under the anointing of God. We pray for your blessing over the family, Lord God, over Christian and Michelle. We thank you for them, and we pray for your wonderful blessing guide them and direct their path. We will miss them, Lord, but Father, thank you. You are sovereign over all, and you will raise up leaders to replace, etc. But God, at this time, we say thank you for the gift of this family to us, and we bless them as they go in Jesus' name. Would you stand up and give these guys a clap? Thank you. Thank you, Ben. Who's blessed? Come on, who's blessed in the house? We are blessed so that we can be a blessing. Isn't that right? We are blessed so that we can be a blessing. And I have found this sermon series a blessing. The reason that it is a blessing is because it's different. It's different. And we are called to be different. We are called to bless others, but we're supposed to receive a blessing from God. And so what I love about our sermon series is that we have an opportunity to find ourselves in God's Word, to actually meditate, to devour, to enjoy God's Word, and we're doing it together as a church, as a congregation, not just uh, to grow individually, but to grow corporately. That's you and I and the person sitting beside you. And what's wonderful is that we're also then unpacking this study in our connect groups. And if you're not part of a connect group, you can get into a connect